Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago, I did a video where I was answering a question from Nikita Net, asking me if the Stanley Camp cook pot would fit inside an IKEA hobo stove. It just so happened that I had a couple of these that I got from uh, Goodwill. Since I did that little review, or answer rather, I've had a bunch of people asking me if I would do my normal tests on this as a hobo stove, do the conversion, do tests, the whole bit. So I thought, all right, you asked for it. Now, one of the first tests that I do with something like this, of course, is with the Mini Trangia burner. That was the reason why I bought this, or a couple of them, because I thought this would make a great little compact fire bowl to just stick in your pack. Uh, oh, it's not, uh, this won't be a wood gas stove, it's going to be a hobo stove. Uh, nothing even as fancy as, say, like a folding firebox. This is just a pure and simple fire bowl type thing. Add a couple of tent pegs, just like so. And you've got a thing that'll hold hold that up. Now you can adjust this. I have it down this low because of putting the burner in, the Trangia burner. A uh, couple of comments that I got on this. Born Randy 62 told me that IKEA still sells these. I don't know if you can see this. Now I looked this up on their net. They don't sell it on the net. You have to go to a store, but they say $2.99 for it. I guess basically it's a container that you can put into your dishwasher and wash your knives and forks and then store it in this. Okay, what I'll do now is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll break, get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a quick boil test. All right, I have my water prepped. I take the burner, put it in the little hobo stove to be. Add the other, now these are just tent stakes, you can use anything. Light it, I'll try to put it in the middle here. I don't know what's going on with this thing. If you don't have something like this, you might have to get yourself a hillbilly flashlight or something to light this. Okay, let's wait for the bloom. Pardon my arm there. Uh, there were some other questions about the sizes of these two. I'll put the dimensions down in the text area again. Okay, we have a bloom there. Two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. I don't know if you can hear that, but I have some interesting sounds coming out of this setup as it heats up. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 7 minutes 54 seconds. Okay, not the best of times, not the worst of times. Let me just take this off. Okay, now the problem might be of putting this out. Take out the peg. Oops, that didn't do it. Hmm. Got to take out both pegs, I guess. Always got to work on this stuff. There we go. Okay, I think on camera two, I showed you how this was really making a, a racket. I guess because of these two stainless steels and the aluminum pegs have uh, different expansion rates to the heat. So this was really rocking and rolling. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 7 minutes and 54 seconds. I should have looked up the old times 
uh, what the boiling times were before on the Stanley Cup set or our Stanley Camp's cook pot set. I'll put the times down below. So this is the first test on this. Now I'll work at modifying it to make it into a hobo stove. I mean a couple of other ideas you could have with this. You could cover it with carbon felt, wrap carbon felt around the outside of it to restrict some of the airflow, especially in the winter. This is what I primarily got this for, is I like to use fire bowls in the winter. Uh, so, you, you know, you don't mess everything all up. You could just put it on a rock somewhere and just have yourself a nice toasty little fire. So I thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.